So, I got zero sleep last night. Couple hours at most. <laughs> I just like woke up at three and then could not fall back asleep. Only eight o'clock, I'm gonna go feed and then make my breakfast and stuff. We're looking a little haggard this morning. All right, let's get the day started. Here's to lots of energy and good vibes. Hey, can you keep it down out there? Some people are trying to sleep. about social media is that YouTube channels, Instagrams, Twitters, all that kind of stuff is usually just a showcase of somebody's like highlight reel of their life. You're not gonna post a picture on Instagram that you think that you look bad in. You feel? Hold on, I'm at a stop sign. There's nothing wrong with that, it's just not reality, you know? Anyway, before I just rant on, on, on all of that, that's why I made the pack to myself and to you guys that through my social media, I'm gonna be as real as possible. When things are going bad, I'm gonna tell you guys about them. It's not me looking for like, uh, what's the word? Not me looking, oh, for like pity or anything like that. One, I get to vent to you guys, which is kinda cool. And two, I know that there's a lot of people that go through this kind of stuff that don't think that other people do, even if it's not just people on social media. So with all that said, here's the issue for today. I'm supposed to have a photo shoot tonight. I was supposed to also have a phone meeting this morning. The phone meeting? <laughs> Didn't work out for some reason. I uh, he hasn't gotten a hold of me, so that kind of made me pretty angry. I went on to start getting ready, and so I like started putting some makeup on and stuff. And everything that could have gone wrong when I put my makeup on went wrong. When you already have lack of sleep, that's not okay. My eyebrows are not okay. My mascara, like my eyelashes, are always like my go-to. Today they were like, uh-uh, we don't want to look long and then not only that but like for some reason lately my makeup has i don't know why but it kind of like looks cakey i've had to redo it like 18 times which has pissed me off because it takes so long to do and i don't have this kind of time in life oh god yeah let's just do that in perspective everything that's happened today isn't really anything bad I'm just not about it y'all <sighs> i'm on my way to the ranch where my brother's at and I'm gonna go hang out with him because I haven't seen him in a couple of days. And honestly, I don't know what the plan is from there. <sighs> I'm gonna vlog again after I get to the ranch. So I'll see you guys in a bit. <laughs> I just got back home from visiting my brother. I am going to make lunch. Is this even recording? Oh, I wouldn't put it past me to just hold this up here and not record, you know? What is that? Is that right on the dot? Can you focus? Oh, from my view, it's right on the dot. See? Oh, look at my view. Right there, but then you look straight and uh, might be a little more. Oh well, I'm hungry. <laughs> burn my finger. Spilled cheese all over my phone. I'm not even supposed to have cheese in here. Karma. I'm currently eating cold chicken because I didn't put it in the microwave long enough. I'm coming to terms with this day. I love frozen sweet potatoes in the morning. Alright, I gotta put this in the microwave. Much better. My mouth is burning. Oh my gosh. Okay, check one, two, three. Ignore the trash cans in the background, I'm trying to clean up. So this is a 
sit down moment. I don't even know where to begin really. <laughs> Mmm, wow. I have had quite the roller coaster of the day today. I really want to share with you guys, obviously, the real me, the real emotions, the real side, the real things that go wrong, the real things that go right in my life. Just to help you realize that you're not alone in the problems that you're going through, no matter where you are in life, whether you're freaking Bill Gates or not Bill Gates. <laughs> There's two types of people in this world, Bill Gates and not Bill Gates. I'm sorry, I think I'm funny. Anyway, even if you're Bill Gates, you have your daily issues and there are things that stress you out and there are things that go wrong in your life. We really, through social media, have this huge false perspective on what real life really is. I know that even from experience, I've caught myself comparing myself to other people. like models like man I wish I was as tall as them or or I wish that I had their body or I love their hair or I love that they get to travel I love their opportunities something like I have caught myself comparing my life to other people on social media just based on what they post on their social media that's why it's so important for me to be as real as possible with you guys and so today was a roller coaster of a day I woke up this morning already kind of feeling defeated because I knew I didn't get any sleep and for me being tired is like the worst feeling. I hate, hate being tired. I kind of just woke up with just kind of honestly giving a very half ass effort on what I could be doing during a day and what I should be in order to reach the goals that I have. I was just sitting in my room, I was working on mentorship stuff, really just giving my basic effort because I'm tired, I'm grumpy, and my dad knocks on my door and I can hear that he's on the phone. And I was like, oh, this must be an important call or something. And sure enough, it was actually a local news station from here. And they want to feature Dare to Be a Cowboy and the stuff that we're going to be doing for the Rena Rodeo this year, which is just in 10 days. We talked to her for a little bit and she's like, well, when are you guys available? She got us into tomorrow morning's, what do you call it, segment, I guess, episode, a live interview tomorrow morning on Cola 8. That's such a huge, good thing to happen for Dare to Be a Cowboy. And we've had the honor of working with Colo 8 before last year at the Reno Rodeo and we weren't sure if it was gonna happen this year and that's something that's very vital for Dare to be a Cowboy especially for the things that we want to do for the Reno Rodeo this year and sure enough they gave us this call and it just made me think about like even on your worst days on the days that you feel like you really can't do anything can't accomplish anything you, the lowest self-esteem that you could possibly have honestly those days still have the capability of changing your life does that make sense really what i'm trying to say is the 24 hours that i had in this day isn't any different than the 24 hours that i had yesterday yesterday in my vlog i was a lot more motivated i was productive i did laundry i went to starbucks i did all kinds of stuff i didn't have any more or less time than i had today but yet today was just so different like i didn't put in the effort that i should have or could have and if i did could you imagine like even just sitting here right now how farther along i could have been oh my mother god there was a bee <laughs> Anyway, I just wanted to rant because I was kind of mad at myself after that blessing happened with the news station. So kind of just like a negative Nelly all day today and just being like, uh, not really appreciating life for how I should appreciate it. That's like my life motto. Like life is too- Whoa! What I was saying is that's basically my life motto. To have good vibes all the time. Freaking practice what you preach, Hambeth. Mm-hmm. All right, I'm gonna get on my horse. No, I'm not, it's too hot. I'm gonna get on, okay. Thanks for letting me rant. For those of you guys that are still watching this, you are the real MVP. End of rant, end of talking. I'm gonna go saddle my pony. <laughs> Bye. Wow. Okay, my face is so dirty right now. My dad just scared the crap out of me. Make sure to subscribe to this channel if you haven't already. Give it a thumbs up for positivity and good vibes. I will see you guys in the morning. Hold on. Okay. So if you are still watching this vlog, props to you. Uh, this is gonna be a long one because <clears throat> it's the next day and I know that in this vlog, all I've really done is talk because I've already started to edit it. There's just a lot of talking, talking. So like I said, if you're still here, true fam. I'm gonna start doing a giveaway at the end of each vlog. That way the people that watch like the entire vlog start, you know, getting something for it because I really appreciate it. Actually, you know what? I'm gonna give something away right now. What should I give away? I really am. I'm gonna do it. Uh, I really only have like makeup stuff. Mm -hmm -hmm. Hold on. Okay, this is gonna be fun. So I am going to do a little goodie bag of just like little makeup sample stuff that I have that I don't 
use or like I haven't used obviously. I'll do something different every single vlog. Oh gosh, I don't know if I can do that. I'm gonna do most vlogs, especially the long ones. I'm gonna do a giveaway. Huh? Good job, you look great. <laughs> Thanks. So this is like very spur of the moment. I decided to put together a cute little beauty bag for you guys. Here's the bag that you'll be getting. And by the way, all you have to do to enter this giveaway is comment down below. And then by the next video, I will announce the winner and you guys will get this. So here's what's in the bag. I have a little mascara primer. I just have samples of it and I haven't used it and they're all unopened. So you guys can have them and use them and love them. I just hope that this really shows you that I genuinely appreciate you. Then this is a cute little mirror. It says, I can make an impact. And then it has, where is it? It has this little mirror inside. So you guys can have that. And on the inside, it says, you're fabulous. I think it's super cute. So when you're on the go doing your makeup, you can have that. Then I have a cute little hand sanitizer, which I have another one of these. And, and this one smells so good. Keep the germs off ya. And then I have another cute little sample of a purifying mask. I also have the bigger version of this one and this works so good for my skin. Also there's this cute little lipstick which I haven't used but I have the same color and it's a really pretty deep red. I mean it's during the summer so this would be a really pretty color for like a night out, a date, or something like that. Because it is like a glam bag I also included some glam and grit stickers. I endorse glam and grit and they have cowboy hats and stuff but I love love that brand so you guys can have their stickers and then to finish off the bag I have this cute little handwritten note that you can read if you get it all you have to do to enter like I said is just comment down below and I will announce the winner in the next video I literally forgot to even talk about why I was vlogging right now today tonight in the first place I just wanted to say I did that news interview and I didn't vlog today because I had so much anxiety about the news interview today I'm not even gonna lie like even after like what I said about how it's really exciting genuinely I, I was super excited about this opportunity and it's really great for dare to be a cowboy for it to be happening but I have not been in the public eye especially live like that in a while so it was really really stressful for me and honestly this morning I was just like I'm not gonna do it like I can't do it like I'm just gonna have my dad do it and it'll be okay by the way bag of popcorn because today I was legitimately freaking out about it and crying it was just actual anxiety about this and my dad finally convinced me to go and do it and I am so thankful that he did because if not I really would not be as excited as I am right now to be hustling and doing as much as I can to get there to be a cowboy out there and the stuff that I'm doing out there and the projects that I'm working on to finish them and get them out there and the projects that I have going right now to really make them the best that they possibly can like I don't know. I'm really woke right now. <laughs> it was definitely a very big step in the right direction. And the support that I got afterwards from people that watched it and before, you know, saying good luck and stuff, it was humbling, to say the least. And so I'm really excited. I'm gonna edit this video, this video, this one right now. And uh, I'm gonna get that be uploaded tonight while watching The Bachelorette. Okay guys, I'm gonna stop talking. Good night and I'll see you in the morning. Bye.